Happy 10k sub to the grind team. I could not done this feat without you guys, my amazing subscribers. Thank you for being part of the grind squad. I've been looking for a great content for a 10k sub special video. I want to make an idol and hunting video but that's not where I started. If you're one of my very first subscribers, then you may have found my channel because of those Warframe and Weapon Synergy. So, I'm taking you to the very root of this small little tree. I will be taking you back where I started. This time, I'm releasing an awesome Warframe and Weapon Synergy. Now I could not have found this synergy without the help of some fellow Tenos. Their in-game name are displayed on the screen. Thank you so much for the idea and for the tips on how to make this awesome synergy happen. So, let's cut this very long introduction here and begin this video. What I will be sharing here is an awesome synergy between Trinity and Sancti Castanas. It's basically a nuke build which will take advantage of Trinity's link ability and Sancti Castanas self damage. The scenario is, you cast link, throw some Sancti Castanas mine in the ground or any surface that those mine will stick, jump and then detonate the mines, and then see the magic happens. I will explain the jumping part later but for now, let's take a look at how to build this deadly setup for Trinity. First, let's take a look at my Trinity build. Now I have two variation for this nuke build. One, is for high level mission, and the other one is for low to mid level missions which is perfect for farming stuff like those new relics for Zephyr Prime, Tiberan Prime and Crone Prime. Ok, let's take a look at the first setup. If you want to take this nuke trinity in high level missions, say sortie missions or any high level content, then these are the mods that you should place on your trinity. The most important mods here are the aviator and diamond skin. These two mods are a must for this setup as it enables us to mitigate the self damage dealt by sancti castanas. In fact, you will not take any self damage when you have these two mods. Just jump before you detonate the mines and you are good to go. Also, for high level plays, I strongly suggest a baiting link to strip enemy armors. And then give your trinity some power strength mods to the point that you can get at least 223% strength, so your abating link can totally remove enemy armors. Instead of having overextended, I choose to have both stretch and auger reach. I can't seem to make this build work with a max out overextended because of that high return on negative power strength. With these mods you can have 35 meters range for your link ability which is quite enough to kill enemies in a distance. I added streamline for some efficiency and as you can see, I don't have prime flow which makes this build really energy hungry. But I don't usually run into a problematic situation as I have Zenurix energizing dash plus energy siphon and energy pads to support my energy consumption. And lastly, vitality for some survivability. Now let's take a look at the other variation. This nuke setup is basically for farming stuff. I run this nuke trinity in Oregon derelict defense and other missions to farm those new relics. Since normally we are dealing with level 70 below enemies at low to mid level, I don't have that much power strength in this setup. Transient fortitude is quite enough for me so I can use my bless ability and heal me sometimes. But you can replace it with intensify if you like. Corrosive projection for the aura slot. Stretch and overextended for lots of range. Streamline and prime flow to support my energy consumption. And of course, don't forget diamond skin and aviator. Ok we're done with trinity. Now let's take a look at my Sancti Castanas build. For this setup to work, you need to mod your Sancti Castanas to the point that it will get 10k or more radiation damage. As you can see, I haven't maxed out some primed mods on this setup yet. If it's maxed out, then you see more than just 10k radiation damage on this build. Also, a ribbon will make this even better. 
If you have a Riven mod which has damage, multi-shot, crit chance or crit damage on it, then you will be the ultimate trinity nuker. The other thing you need for this setup to work is the carrier prime which has the ammo case mods. Sancti Castanas is really inefficient in terms of ammo economy and you really need that ammo conversion from your carrier if you don't want to run into some ammo problems. Also, try to use Xenuric Focus with a max out energizing dash if you want to run that high level variation for this nuke trinity. And lastly, some energy pads will also do the trick. Try to bring as many energy pads as possible. When you have all these stuff, then you're ready to have fun with your trinity with this nuke build. So that's it. I really hope that you enjoy this 10k sub video of mine. Again, I would like to thank my awesome grind team for their continuous support. I could have not grown this channel without you guys. Thank you so much. As a promise, I will continue looking for some interesting stuff in Warframes, giving you more reasons to play your favorite weapons, frames, and to have fun playing this game in general. You deserve the best and I'll give it to you. Keep supporting the grind team and I hope that we can grow our community even more. Before you leave, please do me a favor and hit that like button if you enjoy this video. For those first timers here who want to join the grind squad, simply click that big red subscribe button below. Just make sure to enable notifications so you can receive daily Warframe videos from this channel. Again, thank you so much. Squad leader signing off.